In this video, I'm going to teach you each of the eight ways of lean. This is truly one of the most important concepts that you're going to learn in this entire training series. And really, you should learn these and know these by heart. A waste is simply anything that does not transform your product or service into what the customer wants. Or to put it another way, waste is simply anything that does not create value for your customer. Waste is literally everywhere. And that's not an insult. It's just a reality of life. And the goal of lean is to get rid of that waste, to eliminate it so that our lives are struggle free. And so that the customer gets exactly what they want. That's at um, great quality delivered on time at a good price. And that's worth saying again, the goal of lean is to make our lives struggle free. Do you remember that oil change video? It was so full of struggle because my process was loaded with waste. And when that's the case, when we have all that waste in a process, there's no way on earth I'm going to please a customer and get them what they want. But if we start to eliminate the waste, my struggle goes away and I have a better job. And secondly, the customer starts getting exactly what they want at a good price, at a great quality and delivered on time. There are eight ways in lean overproduction, inventory, motion, transportation, extra processing, waiting, defects and talent. Let's look at each of these one by one. Overproduction is whenever you make more than is needed or when you make it sooner than it is needed. Whenever we make something more than what we need or sooner than we need it, it's a waste. We don't know if the customer is ever going to buy it for one. And secondly, if it's made early, we still have to manage it. We have to manage the inventory and move stuff around. Uh, really, we'll look at this later in another video, but a lot of people say that overproduction is the worst of all wastes because it multiplies all the other activities and actually all the other wasteful activities in the process. But since I just mentioned inventory, actually, why don't we talk about that one next? Inventory is a waste for many reasons. You have to constantly manage it. It takes up space and spreads stuff out. It makes it harder to find things because you have so much and inventory can expire or you may find a defect that's in the entire batch or lot of inventory. And it also locks up your cash. If your product is worth $100 and you've got 100 of them, that's $10,000 locked up on the shelf. Now let's talk about motion. Motion is about human motion. Walking, reaching, lifting, opening, fumbling, it's all motion. And a lot of it is not actually creating value for the customer. It's just waste. You could walk around or reach for a tool all day long but the motion of walking and reaching by itself is a waste. I mean, just think about how much time I wasted cranking my car jack and trying to crawl under my car. That motion does not create value for the customer. It just makes me break a sweat. So motion is a waste. Next up, transportation. Transportation is similar to motion, but involves the movement not of people, but of stuff. Whenever you are moving something with a truck, a dolly, a cart, or even your bare hands, it's wasted transportation. The transportation by itself is not transforming the product just like motion. It's just moving things around and so it's a waste. Now let's talk about extra processing. Extra processing is about the added steps and effort taken to get things right. For example, if I did the laundry but didn't get my clothes out of the dryer fast enough, they'll all get wrinkled. Then if I run an extra cycle in the dryer or iron them out by hand, that's extra processing. I'm taking extra steps to get it right. 
In fact, whenever you are reworking a defect, you're performing extra processing. And since I just mentioned it, let's now talk about defects. Defects are wasteful, well, because they're defects. It's a bad product or service. It has to be scrapped, reworked, or somehow fixed. So creating defects is always a waste. Okay, we're almost done here. And because your time is valuable, let's talk about the waste of waiting. Waiting is wasteful for two reasons. We never want to make customers wait because that's just bad. It's bad business. But secondly, if a person or product is just waiting around for something else, that's wasteful time spent. If the product isn't moving, but rather waiting on the next person or process, there's a waste in the system that needs to be eliminated. Okay, so now I've taught you the classic seven wastes of lean. Overproduction, inventory, motion, transportation, extra processing, defects, and waiting. These are the original seven, but someone added an eighth waste for wasting people's brains and creativity. This, in my opinion, is the worst waste of all. If you think about it, the only reason why my oil change process wouldn't change and improve over time is if I don't use this. If I'm not using my brain on the job or just in my life, nothing's going to change. And that's the greatest waste of all. Okay, so now you have an overview of all of the eight wastes of lean. You're going to want to know these by heart, frontwards and backwards and memorize them. The reason why is because we're at war with waste. The goal of lean is to eliminate this stuff so that we're not struggling and so that our customers are getting exactly what they want. But you can't do that if you can't see waste in the first place. If you can't see the problem, you're not gonna fix it. And so the first step is to learn to see the waste. So take some time to do that and start learning how to see this stuff everywhere that you go.